Yes, we'll get started. We're going to do a warm up to start with, get our bodies ready for some drama today. So can we do a big, big stretch up to the sky? Really big stretch. Can you reach your fingers right up to the ceiling? Really stretch tall. Very, very good. And then can you make yourself tiny, tiny on the floor like a mouse like this? Oh, give yourself a nice cuddle down on the floor. And then I'm going to count down from three. Three, two, one. And you're going to jump up and make a big, big star. Are you ready? Three, two, one. One, jump in a big star like this, yes. Stretch those fingers out really, really wide. You can't even see my fingers on the video, can you? Oh, stretch it, stretch it. Give your hand a shake. Give the other hand a shake. Give your right leg a shake. Give your left leg a shake, fantastic. Give your whole body a shake. <laughs> Good, and we're actually gonna do some singing at the start of this session today. So we're gonna warm up our faces and our voices a little bit before we do that give your face a really good massage can you do that really lovely massage like that Ugh. see if you can make your cheeks really really soft ah now can you see if you can make your face as big and wide as possible ready and then make it as small as possible like this and then as big as possible like this and then as small as possible like this very, very good. Oh, and now I want you to see if you can shake your voice a little bit. So if you grip your hands together like this and then shake them, see if you can make your whole face and voice shake. That's better, isn't it? I feel a lot warmer here and all around my face, ready to sing a song. And our first song of the session, as always, is the hello song. And it goes like this. It's call and response, so I start, you sing it back to me. It goes like this. Say hello, hello. Say hello, hello. Say hello, hello. Say hello, hello. Let's sing it again and see if you can do it without me helping you. Here we go. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Hello. So we're ready to start. And today in our teeny tiny theatre at home class, we are going to go on a train journey, a train adventure. I'm really excited to do this. This is one of the themes I used way back last summer, right at the beginning of when I joined teeny tiny theatre. And it was so much fun. We got loads of toys involved. And I did say maybe you could get some toys ready to play with during this session. And we're going to come on to that a little bit later. I'm also going to ask you to set some things up in your space so that we can think about going on a journey around your room and pretend that we're on a train journey. Um, but before we begin thinking about our train journey... Let's keep thinking about trains and how they sound. We're going to sing another song. It's called the Choo Choo Song. I know, I've got a ukulele. What am I doing? But there you go, I brought my ukulele along. We're going to sing a song called Choo Choo and we'll sing it two or three times because I'm not sure how many of you will know this one, but it's pretty good fun and there's plenty to join in with even if you don't know the words. It goes like this. Are you ready? Once there was a choo-choo, but he couldn't choo-choo, so the story goes. Instead of saying choo-choo, all he said was a choo, because he had a cold in his nose. Are you ready to sneeze? Ah, 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 choo! Instead of saying choo-choo, all he said was a choo because 
because he had a cold in his nose. Ready to sneeze? Ah, 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 two! Oh, very good. I know. A ukulele. Maybe I'll play it again another session. We'll see. I might need to do a bit more practice. Thank you for that. Good tutoring. All right. So, I think it's time for our train adventure. Now, in this train adventure, you children are going to be train drivers. Now, at the start of most of our adventures that we've been on so far each week, we have asked you to think about what you might wear to be the person that you're going to pretend to be. So last week with Chantal, you had to think about diving into the ocean and what you might need to put on for that. When we went into space, we had to think about what astronauts wear. For this session, you're going to be a train driver. So what do you think a train driver wears? Now, I think train drivers have such an important job that they need to look very, very smart. So how might you look really, really smart if you're going to be a train driver? Maybe see if your grown up could type something in now to suggest something that you might wear to look smart. Hmm, we'll see. Okay, nobody's made a suggestion yet. I know, I'll give you a suggestion. I think to look smart you need to wear a jacket. I'm going to put a special smart jacket on. So should we pretend to put our arms down the sleeves of our smart jacket? Pull it on. And the other one. Pull it on. Whew. And my jacket does up with very smart brass shiny buttons. So I'm going to pretend to do my buttons up. Can you pretend? Like this. Yes, I feel quite smart already. I can see there might be some comments coming up now. Let me see. Oh, definitely a train driver's hat. So who was that? Anne-Marie and your children. And we've got Lindsay and your children. Yes, hats. Let's put a hat on. Mine's got a special brim. Should we pick the, the hat up and put it on like that? Mm, yes, a special hat. And my jacket, very good. Somebody suggested a whistle. I think that might be Nathaniel and B. So shall we put the whistle round our neck? Now, this was going to be a surprise for later, but actually I have a very special whistle, which I'm going to blow later when we set off on our journey. But that's my whistle for my train drive. I'm going to put it in my pocket here, actually. There we go. So put your whistle on. What else do we need? Oh, Joel. Very good, very important. It makes you look very smart, doesn't it, a bow tie? Should we all put a bow tie on, put it round your neck? They're quite tricky to do up. Ooh, I'm having a bit of trouble with mine. I don't have a mirror. Oh no. Okay, it's getting in a tangle. Oh, oh, I think I've done it. Ah, that's it. I think I look very smart as a train driver. Good, I think we're ready. Should we get ready to go? But I think before we can get on the train, we need to think about where we're going to go. Where should we go on our train journey? Now, maybe you need to tell your grown-up where is the best place you've ever been on a train? What was the best place you went? The best place I went on a train was the seaside. Yeah. And I think my train journey today, we're going to go to the seaside. But you can decide, where are you going to go on your train journey? Oh, yes. Holidays. Definitely holidays, and I think seaside is perfect for a holiday. I've been dreaming of the seaside for a, for a few weeks now. Can't wait to go. And I also really hope it gets sunnier and hotter for a proper seaside trip soon. Okay, the seaside. Who what else have we got here? Berlin. That's a pretty good place to go on a train. I think you can go from this country to Berlin on a train without getting off. I think you can go under a tunnel under the sea on a train and come out the other side, can't you? It's pretty clever. Okay, so you might have decided where you're gonna go. And I think I suggested before the session that you might want to bring some toys that look like buildings or places that your train might go past on its journey. Now you might see on the floor behind me down here, I've got some farm buildings with animals that I've set out. Have you got some? Maybe you could go and set out some of your toys to be the places that your train is going to go past on its journey. You could go and do that now, couldn't you? Even if you haven't got toys, you could use things like chairs or even cushions. 
They could be like a big hill, couldn't they? That your train has to go past. So why don't you set some things up for your train journey? And the other thing we need to set up is the actual train, isn't it? Now, one thing you could use for that is just yourself. So you and your grown up and your brothers and sisters could just join onto each other like that, couldn't you? Hold on to each other's waists and you could travel around your room and pretend that you are the train. Or you could use cushions on the floor, line up cushions. But you might have noticed I've got some chairs. I'm going to set up my train with chairs. So set up your journey and then see if you can set up your train. I'm going to set up mine now. I've got a tra chair for me, a special chair for me. I'm going to set it up there. And I've got some smaller chairs here. These are going to be for the carriages. So this is where the passengers are going to sit. I'm going to put these behind my chair here, about there. That's my train. And I've got my journey set up. Uh, what's missing? What else do we need on a train? Nana and Grandad, Slotty. Yeah, maybe we need some passengers. Maybe some people to actually go on the train. Oh, Hayley. You're going to the moon on a train. That's crazy, but I love it. Sometimes we can use our imaginations. Let's imagine that our train can fly. Maybe your train can fly. Oh, there's just so much, so much potential. Right, let's think about passengers. Uh, you could use people in your room with you, your grown up, your brothers and sisters to be your passengers if you like. Um, I don't have anyone else in the room with me at the moment, so I'm going to use some toys and I've got a teddy and a dolly and they're going to be on my train they're going to be my passengers um, but before they get on the train they need a ticket don't they and I think I said before the session began today maybe you'd like to make a ticket I've already seen a picture of somebody's ticket it's really really good Lottie it's really good your ticket and my children Rory and Ruby made some brilliant tickets yesterday and this morning so this is my ticket. It's a bit boring. I'm sure yours look much more interesting than this. But you need to give some tickets to your passengers. I'm going to put my passengers on the platform, so next to my train down here, and give them their ticket. Now, when a when passengers get on a train, they don't give their ticket to the driver, do they? No, they give them to a what's it? What are they called? A, maybe a a guard. Is it? Maybe? Someone like that. But today, I want you to pretend that your driver takes the tickets as well. Now, when a, when a guard takes a ticket, when the driver takes a ticket, they need to do something with the ticket, don't they, to show that they've seen it. So maybe they clip it. Maybe they scribble on it to show that they've seen it. So when your passengers get on, remember, you need to check those tickets. You can clip them or scribble on them, maybe. So why don't we get our our passengers to get on the train now. I'm going to go and get my passengers and check their tickets. You do the same with yours, all right? So here's my first passenger. Let's check her ticket. Mm, where are you going? Are you coming to the seaside too? Yes, I am. Oh, good. Great. I'm going to let her on the train. She's going to sit here. There we go with her ticket. And Teddy. I wonder where Teddy's going. Let me check his ticket. Oh, He's going to the seaside as well. That's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to put him on the train. That's fine. He can sit there. Very good. Oh, okay, all my, all my passengers are on. I only had two passengers getting on. What else have we got here? Oh, a conductor. Yes, well done, Nathaniel and B. You see, a conductor takes tickets or a guard. Um, okay, and Lottie thinks we need an engine. Well, Okay, you could try and make the shape of your train with cushions or something like that, couldn't you? I'm going to pretend the shape of my train. I'm just going to sit in my chair and that's going to be the train uh, that I'm going to drive. Um, so, I've got my train whistle. You might not have a train whistle, so you might need to make the sound of the train with your own voice or with something else. Maybe you've got a different sort of whistle. Uh, but when the train sets off, I want to hear the sound of the train setting off. We're going to make some other sounds for the train as well. So are we all ready to set off? I'm sitting in my uh, train driver's seat now. And 
Yeah, I think everybody's ready to go. And I'm going to blow my whistle. Are you ready to get going? We're going to start moving on our train. Here we go. It's pretty good, isn't it? Here we go. Chug, 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 chug. Can you do that? Chug, 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 chug. Oh, it's getting faster. Chug, 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 chug. Good. Now, there are some other sounds we can make. To make it sound like a train is moving along. There are words we can use actually that make it sound like a train going. And this might sound a bit strange, but these words are food. Yeah. And the first foods that I want you to say in this rhythm is cheese and crackers, cheese and crackers, cheese and crackers, cheese and crackers. Can you do that? Cheese and crackers, cheese and crackers, cheese and crackers, cheese and crackers. See if you can get faster. Cheese and crackers, cheese and crackers, cheese and crackers, cheese and crackers, cheese and crackers. And quieter. Cheese and crackers, cheese and crackers, cheese and crackers, cheese. And crackers, cheese. Very good. Now when the train really gets going and it's going very quickly, then we might need to think about some fast words that can make the train sound fast. What about chicken and chips, 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 chicken and chips. I'm only saying chicken and chips. See if you can join in. Chicken and chips, chicken and chips, chicken and chips, chicken and chips. See if you can keep that rhythm going of the train going really, really fast. And I'm going to sing you another song while our train is going fast down the tracks. You ready? Ride in that new river train. Ride in that new river train It's the same old train that brought me here Gonna carry me home again Ride in that new river train Ride in that new river train It's the same old train that brought me here Gonna carry me home again And again, ready? Ride in that new river train Ride in that new river train It's the same old train that brought me here Gonna carry me home again Wow, very good! And we're going quite fast down the tracks Fantastic! Now, we're just going to come a little bit slower And just take a break Because there's some extra things I'd like you to see if you can organise in your space. So for our train journey, I want us to see if we can go past some different interesting bits of landscape. So some things in the countryside that the train needs to go past. Now the first thing we're going to go past is a tunnel. Now in your room you might have a chair that you could use like a tunnel. You could go under a tunnel, couldn't you? Under a chair. You might even have a table. You might have people who could be a tunnel if they joined their hands together. A bit like when we made the spaceship in the space session we did a few weeks ago. You could get some people to be a tunnel and you could go under them, couldn't you? If you were travelling. Uh, you could, if you want to make it more about your toys, you might even have train track and train tunnels. And for this bit, you could just use your toys to go through the tunnel. I want you to see if you can set up a tunnel for your train to go through. So we're going to go together through the tunnel. When we come out the other side, I want you to pretend along with me all the other different things that we're going to travel past. OK, so. Tunnel first. Let's get back in position as our train drivers. I'm going to blow my whistle again. And we're going to set off. And I want you to go through your tunnel. Are you ready? Here we go. <coughs> off we go. Okay, the tunnel's coming. Here we go. We're going in the tunnel. And here we go. We're in. Oh, wow. It's very, very dark, isn't it? Black and noisy. It gets noisier when you go in a tunnel in a train, isn't it? And what can you see out the window? Oh, I can see my own face. It's like a mirror. The glass of the train is like a mirror. I can see my own face. Oh, I think I can see some light ahead. We must be coming out of the tunnel in a second. Are you ready? Here we go. 
out we come. Oh, we're out. Wow, that was a really, really long tunnel, wasn't it? Really long. Okay, but we keep going. I can see up ahead. We're coming towards a really steep hill. And our train is going to have to go up and over that hill. I think it's going to have trouble going fast up the hill. So we might end up having to slow down. So you ready? Here we go. Chug, 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 chug. It's cheese and crackers. Cheese and crackers. Up we go. Cheese and crackers. We're at the top. What? Wow. What can you see? Wow. I can see the sea from here. I can see where we're going. I can see the seaside and all the fields with all the animals in. Sheep and cows. Fantastic. Oh. We're going down. It's getting faster. Chicken and chips, 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 chicken and chips. We're down the hill. Let's keep going. Wowee. That was fun. I like going downhill on the train. A bit like a roller coaster. Okay. Oh, there's some curves in the track coming up. We're going to have to go round these curves. Now, if you're sitting like I am, you could just show that by moving from side to side like you're going round corners. If you're standing up, why don't you move round those corners together? You could do that, couldn't you? I can't really show you that in my space because I don't have much room. But you could do that at home. Grown-ups, you could help, couldn't you? So we're going round those corners. First to the right. Oh, I think this is a mirror image, so that might look like left to you. And to the left. Whoa. And to the right again. Wow, it's like a slalom. And to the left. Oh, and now the truck is straightening out. Fantastic. Okay, I can see a bridge. We're going over a bridge next. Cheese and crackers, cheese and crackers, cheese and crackers, cheese and crackers. <gasps> We're going over a bridge. Wow, what's underneath your bridge? The massive river under mine. When you travel on a train um, from Liverpool to, well, anywhere out of Liverpool, pretty much, you go across the River Mersey, across an amazing train bridge, which has beautiful arches, and you can see for miles, you can see the wide, wide river underneath. Maybe imagine that, We're going over that river, the River Mersey. Wow, and the tide's out as well, so I can see lots of sand in the river. Sand spits. Fantastic. Oh, we're over the bridge. Okay. And we're coming to a station now. You might have some passengers who need to get off the train. So let's slow down. Cheese and crackers. Cheese and crackers. Cheese and crackers. What sound does a train make when it stops? And it stopped. <sighs> okay, so as I'm the driver and also the conductor of the train, I'm going to uh, see if any of my passengers want to get off. We have now arrived at Liverpool South Parkway Station or somewhere near where you live or make up a station. Anybody want to get off here? Okay, Dolly wants to get off here. She's changed her mind. She doesn't want to go to the seaside anymore. She wants to get off. Maybe you've got some passengers who need to get off your train. Maybe some new passengers want to get on. Oh, who's this fella? It's only William Shakespeare. I wonder where he's going. Where's he going? Let me check his ticket. Oh, he's going to the seaside to have a little uh, sunbathe, maybe. Better be careful because he's got a bald head. <laughs> right. He can sit there on my train. There we go. On he gets. Did you get any new passengers getting on? Maybe you did. Right, we better set off again. We're nearly at the seaside now. Gonna blow my whistle. We're gonna set off. Ready? And off we go. Cheese and crackers, cheese and crackers, cheese and crackers, cheese and crackers, cheese and crackers. Now on this last stretch of our journey, have a look out of the window. What can you see on our journey? Now, we didn't put it in our driver's bag, but some of your passengers might have brought a camera to take a photo out of the train window. 
So let's see if we can take some really interesting photos of things we can see. Maybe you could type for me the kinds of things that you've seen on your journey. Oh, that was a farm. We saw some sheep in that field. That was really cool. Anything else you see on your journey? Beautiful ruined castle on that side. Looks lovely. Uh, I wonder what else we can see out the window. Hmm. Oh, a beautiful lake with lots of birds on it. Lovely. Take some pictures. Oh, a red panda. Grace, that's a bit rare to see outside of a train window. Oh, I can see uh, somebody's seen a waterfall. Oh, a smiley face. How lovely. I think smiley faces are in lots of windows this week, aren't they? People have been drawing smiley faces, so maybe you can see them. Lottie can see balloons and a house. Very good. Maybe we're going past a city. There's lots of buildings. Take some pictures for me. Sheep, definitely sheep. Very good. Good. Thank you for those suggestions. Oh, I think I can see our station coming up. What's that? A unicorn. Oh my goodness, we must be in a very strange, fantastical land to see some of these things. But we're just arriving now to our final destination and it's the seaside. So are you ready to slow the train down? Cheese and crackers, cheese and crackers, cheese and crackers. Ready for that noise? And we stopped and we're here we're at our destination and if you're anything like me and you've come to the seaside it must smell lovely i can just smell the salty sea from here right i'm going to let my passengers off the train now get passengers thank you very much for coming on my journey and you can go and sit down there i'm going to move my chairs as well out of the way oh and now i want you to pretend to go to the place that you wanted to arrive at. And because this is the seaside, I'm gonna to pretend to roll up my trousers and go paddling in the sea. Maybe you could pretend. What are you pretending to do? I think somebody was going to the moon, so they might be walking on the moon like this when they get off the train. But I'm paddling in the sea and it's lovely. It's so cool. The sea feels so lovely underfoot. Now there's something very important you have to do when you go to the seaside and actually you can get this thing at most places that you visit on holidays. Ice cream. Yes. Should we go and get an ice cream? I'm going to get an ice cream. Maybe you could tell me what flavour ice cream you're going to have and what's going to be on it. I'm guessing vanilla with a flake. Oh yes. Uh, oh. Looks like Grace and Jessica and Joel might be looking for animals at the zoo because they've gone to the zoo on their train journey. But I think you can get ice creams at the zoo. So go and help yourself to an ice cream. Go to the ice cream van. I'm going to get mine now. Mine's a vanilla one with a flake. Thank you very much. Should we pretend to eat our ice creams? Mmm, mine tastes lovely. Really nice. And the chocolate flake. Mmm, delicious. Oh, I like that. What have we got here? Pistachio ice cream. Oh, yes. I always forget about pistachio. That's a really delicious flavour, isn't it? Chocolate with a flake. What else do we have? It's strawberry. Very good, Seth. Uh, blueberry with rainbow sprinkles, Lottie. That's very fancy. I like that. Zachary's having mint and chocolate ice cream. Very nice. Oh, and we mustn't forget the sprinkles. You mustn't forget those sprinkles. Get Eat that ice cream up. Mm. Delicious. Very important to have an ice cream when you go to the seaside. I think, it, I think actually it's the law. You have to have one. It's very important. Right, well, we came, we've come to the end of our train journey, but you might have realised that we haven't gone home again, have we? But instead of pretending to do it all again backwards now... You could do that in your own time, couldn't you? Why don't you even do it differently? You could set up a beautiful big train track on the floor 
and you could put all those things we went past on our journey out on that track so think about the tunnel that we went through and the big big hill we had to go up and back down again and we went around some curves and bends and we went over a bridge over a river and we stopped at a station didn't we and then we got to the seaside or the zoo or wherever else you are the moon um set it up set up your train track and that could be what you do later today you could do that journey back home again with your train toys and there's a few other things i asked you to do aren't there i asked you to take some photos out of the train window do you think you could draw or paint the picture like it's a photo do you think you can make that picture of the photograph that you took out of your train window on your journey and get your grown-up to send it to me put it on facebook with your ticket your beautiful ticket that you designed um for your passengers put those on i want to see them something that i really miss from my drama classes that we run with teeny tiny theater is being able to see you being able to do this with you i'm just staring at my phone in my kitchen <laughs> which is really strange and it'd be lovely to get some feedback so please yes type some answers post some pictures that'd be lovely to see all of that but can i just say thank you well done you went on a fantastic train journey today with me i'm really really pleased you joined in we've had quite a lot of suggestions coming up on the messages so thank you very much for that grown-ups and uh look out for our next session there'll be one next week the time and date will be confirmed um over the next few days so keep an eye on facebook and instagram for those uh bits of information and the last thing to say is that we have a coffee page which by now you have heard us talk about quite a lot I'm sure that is a place where you can donate um, some money a small small amount of money uh, just in exchange for doing these classes for free uh, no obligation obviously if you're not in a position to pay no problem but you can just find that link if you go to um, I think on Facebook it's our the button on our page find out more button you can click on there that'll take you straight there or in the bio on Instagram um, we have a button for that there too uh, that would be fantastic if you could make a donation and uh, yes just keep supporting us by liking and sharing all of our posts that would be fantastic keep our work alive during this really really tricky time for all of us um, and that's it thank you so much for joining in grown-ups and children and we'll see you again goodbye